Hi Capricorn, welcome to your March 2020 tarot reading with me. And thank you guys so much for clicking on my video and joining me with these messages. I definitely wanted to light a little bit of sage, if you guys can see. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but I got some sage rolling for my Capricorns this month because, well, there's a lot going on in March, okay? Um, we do have Pisces season and Aries season this month, so we have reached the new astrological year. As I record this, it is Aries season. The sun went into Aries yesterday as it is blinding me through my window right now. Um, so hopefully the lighting is okay as well. If not, I'm going to turn on my little lamp. But um, Pisces season for Capricorn is all about communication and the lower mind. This could definitely be a lot of headache energy, a lot of thoughts, overthinking, the third house, wanting to say things. It's kind of tough having a Pisces third house because the things that you say may come off really diluted, especially when Mercury was retrograde there. Wow. So yeah, guys, and then at the end of March, we will shift into your fourth house of home. Aries does challenge the authority of Capricorn as, an, as a vibration. So please get ready to enter April under challenged authority. Okay, and that leads me to talk about what is going on in our government right now. Capricorn, I just wanted to take the time out before your reading to really tell you guys that in astrology, Capricorn rules the government. Capricorn rules the next 10 year cycle, karma, things like that. And everything that's going on in our government right now, I feel has a lot to do with the zodiac wheel of you know, our universe having Pluto there. We've had Pluto in Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn the last three years, the South Node is still in Capricorn, Jupiter entered Capricorn not too long ago. So we've got, whenever there's three to four plus planets in a sign, we call that a stellium. And when there's a stellium, all these planets huddled up into one sign, there's a lot of energy being focused there. And what is it? It's our government. So I know a lot of Capricorns out there are significantly worried or concerned, I should say, with the with a plan for the future. There is a need to plan for the future as a collective right now. And the last thing I want to tell you guys is that Saturn, I am recording this reading on the last day that Saturn will be in Capricorn. Now, don't worry, in June, Saturn, your ruling planet Saturn will retrograde back into your sign. But over the next few months, we are going to have Saturn in Aquarius, your second house, okay? I'm going to have a whole different series of videos. Um, why is there someone playing a bunch of loud, disrespectful music outside of my house right now? Like, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> and that is my Capricorn rising coming out, if you guys didn't know. I am a Capricorn rising, so I definitely am a representative of Saturn and all that good energy, okay? Um... I want you guys to think about the last three years of your life because over the last three years, Saturn has been in your sign at home. Saturn is the planet of restriction and karma, time management, all these responsibilities, right? When Saturn shifts, Saturn shifts every three years and every 29 years, we go through what we call a Saturn return. But that's a different topic for a different time. I just wanted you guys to know everything going on in the government right now and everything that is shifting around March 21st and 22nd is probably most definitely because of Saturn uh, shifting signs. So the last three years have been, we've all committed to different things over the past three years when Saturn was at home in Capricorn, but Saturn also does rule Aquarius. So interesting, interesting you guys, but let's go ahead and get into the cards. This month I am using the Triple Goddess Tarot deck. Um, it's still original tarot, just with different images and things like that, so I can really tap into the Pisces energy of my intuition. But I still want to keep it grounded because I have an Earth Moon and an Earth Rising. So check the description box if you'd like to know more about these cards or if you want to get them yourself. Um, but what I have here is the Devil card. So this is what I'd like to show you guys. We have the Devil here. Now this Devil card looks a lot different than the other one, right? We don't have any scary demons or chains in this card because in this tarot deck, I'm pretty sure this card is called the Grove. I'm not exactly sure the name that they call this woman, but she is called a certain thing. And in this card, I feel someone here has taken their wisdom and they've applied their regardless of age all capricorn energy rules maturity okay beyond your years this woman definitely is a reflection of maturity with her gray long hair she has wisdom and insight to offer specifically because of what she's walked away from so this may be of relevance you know i don't use this deck very often but i did want to use it for march 
and it's just interesting um, that message that may apply now for some of you guys it might involve a home environment family stuff relationship um, earthly possessions that you're kind of ridding yourself from because we've got um, a necklace that's left behind a red ribbon if that's significant to anybody metaphorically in I think this might be a bouquet of flowers so that might be a marriage or something but this devil card is you Capricorn and it does symbolize in tarot readings it comes up other other than for Capricorn energy it does talk about feeling bound feeling codependent toxic obsessed lust you know anything that you want to get away from that you can't get away from is the devil card so I've shuffled the cards until this card is at the at the top of the deck and I'm gonna go ahead and check what's behind you guys and so we can see if there's a message okay this may be of some importance all right the first card the first card that is coming up for you the card right behind you okay for some reason spirit wanted to shuffle these cards this way right and um, this is definitely the nine of wands so what this lets me know is that Capricorns are really on guard this month in March you guys are definitely defending and protecting your garden okay and this deck the nine of wands is a person who is persevering Okay, the Nine of Wands talks all about perseverance. Now, it is the Wounded Warrior card, which is interesting because Chiron, the Wounded Warrior in astrology, is in Aries, squaring you, bringing up certain wounds that you might have um, when it comes to family or home, things like that. So, the card that is right after that is the Eight of Wands. I find that interesting because the Nine of Wands comes before the Eight, and we move, we take a step down nine and eight chronological order okay so got some wand energy here for you capricorn this is fire energy aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with a fire sign or again this could just be a metaphorical fire like even as i'm reading your energy right now my temperature has gotten significantly higher um and then we even have more fire so the first three cards behind you is fire cards so you guys could definitely be dealing with fire signs or this is just passion the ace of wands is talking about something new okay but first we have to get through this battle whatever this is and this may even be talking about a communication battle a battle when it comes to traveling because the nine of wands again that brings up defense capricorn moving down so you might have taken a step down whenever i see like okay for an example sometimes i pull like the ten of pentacles and the next card will be the nine of pentacles so to me that is like taking a step down metaphorically okay the eight of wands is a message it talks about travel okay it talks about communication but most likely just focusing all your energy into one place there seems to be a focus of energy this month on w your wall of defense and how that could be how a shift of focus may help you start a new passionate spark of some sort fire 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 and i feel it definitely I don't know if you guys are experiencing like a significant and I, I feel this is more metaphorical for those of you out there thinking like oh a fever or whatever like no I'm not picking up on that I'm picking up more of a metaphorical uh, hotness like I don't know if there's any battles or anything because the nine of wands can definitely be talking about a physical battle as well and oh goodness the eight of wands is something that's communicated to you that makes you more defensive this month but what's this ace of wands so really We've got two indications of the Nine of Wands, honestly, and I'll tell you what I mean here. Nine of Wands here, and then we have the Eight and the Ace. So if you put Eight and One together, that is... So you've got the Eighteen of Wands, basically? And what that means is that there's, just, there's not just one battle being fought here. There are several. But this has something to do with starting over or like a new passionate beginning. This this Ace of Wands, it just came out for my Sagittarius reading. And this could definitely be um, a sexual encounter. Okay, and with this deck, I always see the trees in the background. How they're from the fall. So I don't know if this was like something passionate that started in the fall. Okay, sorry about that guys. I had to pause the camera for a moment. But now I'm back, and I've actually had a little bit of extra chance to look at these cards as well, because I was a little confused a little bit um, as far as decoding these cards. So um, another thing that I'm picking up on here is that you guys are fighting for passion. Um, you guys might be 
there's there is new passion for you this month capricorn let's just put it like that whether if that's a sexual encounter or just something that would spark something in you inspire you there is like a new passionate message okay this could even be like passionate text messages if you know what i mean um but my concern is this nine of wands okay so be very careful of you know just be mindful of your boundaries and your restrictions capricorn you guys like i was saying about saturn being in your sign and being ruled by saturn you guys have those rings of protection around you okay so i don't know if this ace of wands is something that you would like to consciously block yourself from or not it's going to depend but moving on, we do have the Page of Pentacles. This is sometimes an apology card, but this is a young Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, finding out new things. In this card, there's a magnifying glass. So I don't know if that you need to take a closer look at something of value, if there's some kind of investment here or an apology, some kind of pal apology that's expressed to you. Again, there may be travel and passion there and then we have the king of wands so we have aries leo sagittarius new um offers here this may be a fire sign that is apologizing to you passionately through a text message communication message but you know this has something to do with why you're defensive capricorn there's some kind of battle here that you know is not over you're just focused on work you're focused on persevering whatever you're focused on whatever this garden is a metaphor for you um, but we do have new love, okay? We have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So this is new passionate love, new beginnings and emotion. This could be um, the energy of a new child or self-love. And we have the Page of Swords. So ultimately, you're wanting to know more about these new feelings that you're experiencing. Maybe with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have Gemini here. So you may have your own Gemini energy. But this is the Lover's card. So there may be a decision or a crossroads that you have reached in relationships or when it comes to a connection. You could even be spying on a certain person um, that you have new feelings for. Or they could be spying on you, Capricorn. Definitely picking up on Leo energy, Aries, Sagittarius. But this is just being confident enough, okay, to, to really see the fine details in this page of Pentacles. These new investments that you're making in, as far as passion. Okay, we got your focus here, though. All of Capricorn's focus in March is on building, persevering, having the strength to go on, even though you're tired and overworked and feeling almost exhausted, wounded, a wounded warrior. Okay, and we're back to the to the devil card now. Um, but let's go ahead and get shuffling. We got about 20 minutes here for the rest of your reading, so let's let's really get into the Capricorn vibration for March 2020. What are the messages for Capricorn? Now, the Four of Pentacles almost just came out, which is an indication that, oh, it's right here. So that is a message for you, the Four of Pentacles, um, what you're hanging on to. How can that be an obstacle for you, Capricorn? How can your comfort zone or wanting to save money, holding on to your stability and your foundation, that could be a home or a person, place, or thing? How is that an obstacle for you moving forward? We got your opposite sign, Cancer, coming out um, for the first card in your reading. So you could be dealing with a Cancer could be hanging on to that Cancerian energy, the energy of a mother, um, or there could be that energy hanging on to you. Some of you guys want to save up money for a vehicle. Some of you guys, there's a vehicle here that may be an obstacle, all right? Um, we've got the Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So some of you guys have walked away from a situation that has left you out in the cold, feeling homeless. You're walking away to find emotional satisfaction. You may be diving into creativity because of this, arts. Uh, you know, music, writing, things like that, finding a new way to express yourself after you release something. But the chariot is about victory. So most of you guys came into March um, wanting to charge forward to some kind of goal that you had. Okay, this could be a vehicle. This could be someone who's in a wheelchair sometimes. But this is the card of victory and fast forward movement. There is a path that you guys came into um, starting March. This could be how you guys entered March. You know, striving after victory, overcoming obstacles, cancer energy here. So there is a slight obstacle of a comfort zone that you guys are trying to overcome in March, specifically when you entered March. This could be about a home environment, a car, a job, but maybe you need to save money before you can get to a certain goal of yours, Capricorn. So let's see, what else do we have for Capricorn for March? Um, now, we almost had the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles come out. So some of you guys are definitely walking away from things that no longer serve you you're going on a soul journey there's a full moon here that may be important uh the full moon in virgo this might have been important important march 9th 
But with two eights here, uh, this is about something that you're trying to master. You guys might be headed towards a different job or a different way of making money, letting down some kind of a burden. I feel like that was about a job or something that you've been trying to master or perfect. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, but you're walking away from a job maybe to start a new job. What else do we have for Capricorn for March 2020? What are the messages for Capricorn for March 2020, please? What are the messages for Capricorn? March 2020, Capricorn. What are the messages for Capricorn spirits? What do they need to know in regards um, to March? Now, outcomes, the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So March has something to offer you, Capricorn, specifically... Now, this could be at any time in March, but I do want to say, since we're at the beginning of the reading, this could definitely be the beginning um, couple weeks, Pisces season. Any, Either way, there is something very satisfying. There's a very satisfying offer here. It's emotionally satisfying. It's actually a, a wish come true with the Nine of Cups. This is Pisces energy. So I think Pisces, this might have happened in Pisces season, at least the initial offer of this thing. Um, bottom of the deck is the Hermit. So this may involve a Virgo. This may involve self-reflection or isolation in some way. This might involve your own solitude. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Okay, some of you guys are walking away or towards um, someone with Virgo energy. And this might be because you guys found out more about why someone or you are hanging on to a certain thing. Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Hang on to the information that came to you as far as truth in March because it will help you say yes to this opportunity this is something that you need capricorn it, it might be a vehicle okay it might be in regards to a lump sum of money but it's very satisfying this is such a capricorn message this new beginning this new tangible beginning of something of great value a golden opportunity that you've been wishing for you just had to overcome some kind of obstacle first okay you may have to do this on your own you may have to reflect before you take on this new emotionally satisfying beginning but this is like a wish come true i love this energy this nine of pentacles something that you're wishing for being offered to you okay what else do we have for capricorn for march 2020 please what else do we have for capricorn for march 2020 what else is going on from the capricorn for march sun moon and rising capricorn energy for march 2020 Okay, we almost had the Queen of Cups come out. That's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, but the Two of Swords decided to come out. That's Libra energy to me, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, but there is some kind of a stalemate. It's like you come into March full force, moving forward, you see the light in the distance, there's a path drawn out for you, you're overcoming obstacles, you're victorious, you're headed towards something very emotionally fulfilling, something that's been offered to you that, that you've been wishing for for a really long time, lump sum of money, whatever. You need it and you value it, Capricorn. But as we approach the new moon in Aries, possibly around uh, March 24th, there's like some kind of decision that, that for some reason it's very difficult to make. There's like these two different truths that you need to honor. It's like, you know, both paths are true, but it's like you need to follow your intuition because you've blinded yourself to making this decision for a really long time. This is a stalemate, a stoplight, a crossroads, like bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. That tells me a lot more, okay? So this is involving two different things, people, places that you've kind of collaborated in different ways. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, sometimes this is a social media card, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um... There's some kind of decision that you need to make in regards to uh, teamwork. So I guess my advice, Capricorn, especially if there's three or more people involved in this this project or collaboration, if these are co-workers, there's like a decision that you're not making. Maybe there's a new job being offered to you or a new home, a new foundation. But, you know, obviously there's going to be the your current, you know, situation. It's like, I don't know if some of you guys are working on your own or working from home because of the conflict going on in March, but we do have like tension here a little bit at work or amongst co-workers. Yeah, because there is going to be an ending to some kind of job. I don't know if this is permanent or if this is just a transformation, but I can tell you when there's some kind of end to a project, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, by the way, there could be a new Scorpio love here. Even though you're anxious and stuck in your head, Capricorn, there is new love that comes out of this ending. Something that you've been working on, some kind of project, is ending in March. And because of that, it does cause conflict. You do go in, inside yourself to reflect and, you know, basically do some soul searching about this job and about what, what this decision, like, what would work most for you? This is like a plan here, okay? This Three of Pentacles is a plan. 
So back to the advice I was going to give you, if you're in between two different things, people, places, there is an, there's advice here in the tarot cards that I can see about choosing something that you know would, would involve the most cooperation. Like, be careful choosing things um, that you know wouldn't work out. Like, if it involves three people that just aren't working together, you know, and out comes the Seven of Pentacles very quickly. So this has to do with an investment. There is an investment that you've made, um, Capricorn. I don't really know if this has to do with money or a, um, a home. It just depends. But I'm going to explain it metaphorically. Like something that you've waited on, you've invested so much energy, time, effort, money even to this situation to see if it would grow, to see if it would grow, right? And that might be the obstacle. Uh, basically leaving something like that in the past to invest a new seed, you know, disregarding an entire garden of work so far so that you can kind of start over. Sometimes that is the most responsible thing to do. We have the tower here, okay? So this is going to be kind of shocking. Um, this might this might have been a false investment. I do see, again, three of pentacles and a tower. You, this might involve a Virgo, some kind of shock there, a third-party Virgo. Th there's been a lot of conflict maybe with a Virgo, especially if you work with a Virgo. Um, and this tower here is coming to shake up any false foundation. So if you've made any unlawful or false investments, basically Capricorn, if you've invested in any people, places, or things that aren't going to be victorious over the next seven to eight, nine years, ten years, then the tower is going to come in and kind of shake those up. This is a false foundation. Um, a lot of change taking place in the name of your investments, okay? A lot of enlightenment and action that you need to take. What else do we have for Capricorn? We have the Two of Cups coming out. So relationship investments, people that you've invested a lot of time and energy into and possible reconciliations there. Uh, some of you guys are waiting on love the latter half of March. Um, basically the second, we're into the, the way you end March now. Okay, there's going to be a, a waiting period with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. This is someone who, you're waiting for someone to make up their mind, or you're waiting for your damn self to make up your mind, Capricorn. But either way, it's like, with the chariot card starting off this reading, that lets me know that anything on the table could potentially be an obstacle. Okay? There are obstacles you're going to face when it comes to getting this offer that would be very emotionally satisfying as far as a wish. There's an obstacle here of making up your mind, making a difficult decision in March to free yourself. There's an obstacle here of waiting um, to see what grows because there is going to be a period of waiting at the end of March, especially in a relationship. Like, are you going to reconcile with this person, this two of cups, this soulmate here? Some of you guys, there's a wish here for love, but bottom of the deck is the ten of wands. So I also know that there's a relationship here in regards to Capricorn that has caused a lot of burdens, specifically at work, specifically Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, when it comes to being emotionally balanced, I have an earth sign woman and a water sign woman here. So I don't know if that's you or if this is someone else. We also have an Aries showing up here, maybe a husband and a wife. But emotional emotions are coming up here. You know, I want to say Capricorn, there's a difference between working all together financially and physically than there is working. Can, th can these people work together emotionally? Are these people on the same page emotionally? Okay. Because that might be where the burden is. So you also have a choice between lovers here, okay? Someone you've invested a lot in and potentially some kind of new offer that is emotionally fulfilling. Let's get a couple more cards for you. How does Capricorn end March 2020? How does Capricorn end March 2020? Show me the end of March 2020 for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Now, pretty sure that was the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, the Wheel of Fortune just flipped out and fell so when the wheel of fortune shows up in a tarot reading that that tells me that there's going to be a huge turning point that that is waiting for you at the end of march capricorn could it be in regards to um a faded love okay because the wheel of fortune and the two of cups this is a destiny like jupiter is in capricorn right now okay trying to offer you specifically very optimistic um new beginnings tangibly jupiter knows what you want this is your fate and your fortune being weaved, okay? The, the wheel is turning at the end of March, you guys. No matter what's going on here, when the, the wheel of fortune is showing up, this, this, how, I asked how you end March. So you end March karmically. You end March ending a cycle, maybe even with travel. It could be someone that travels to you to come see you. And uh, the high priestess is at the bottom of the deck here. So this might be um, a secret. This may be something that you don't know. You may be keeping this a secret. Maybe you've had an intuitive vibrate, an intuitive vibe that this was coming up. 
there is going to be a relationship or a, an emotional fulfilling connection that comes in that you've been waiting for at the end of March. It could be a friendship, a soulmate, whatever, but it's going to be very fulfilling, very valued. There could be an offer with this Ace of Pentacles in the Wheel of Fortune right below it that changes everything. I feel love. You've been wishing for all of this, new new finances, all of this, and you want to follow your intuition with it, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorp Scorpio energy there. Someone here may be secretly pregnant or have secretly have a wife. Like, there's a very beautiful woman here that is an option for you, Capricorn, or you are that beautiful woman that is an option for someone else. Someone here has options. And I do see there may be children that are relevant. You could be holding on to someone because of memories or children. You're hanging on to memories here, though, okay? Very fond memories. Just be careful of that comfort zone because it's all about you finding a new way to express yourself. Someone is coming back from the past, though, Capricorn. And it could definitely be an option for you, an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra woman, um, a wife, a mother. I don't know what this is, but it's, it's being hidden by this high priestess, by the moon. So maybe the Aries full moon will reveal this to you. Let's get one last card here to put underneath the two of swords. Give me one more card for Capricorn for March 2020. Give me like the last two days of March. How do they end the very end of March going into April? Give me a card that represents that energy, please. Like March 30th, March 31st energy, the very end of March. Give me a card. And it was almost a king of cups. So there could be a water sign here. Or maybe this is just emotional stability. It might have to do with a job. But again, I'm seeing emotional cooperation being more important to you than physical cooperation. Than financial cooperation. Something that jives with you in the way that you feel. Okay? Because you already know what you have, Capricorn. Because you're getting more of that. You've already invested a bunch of that. We got the page of swords. Interesting. And, wow, the bottom of the deck for your whole entire reading, I just saw 17, 17 on the clock. That's basically 8, 8. You already had two 8s come out for your reading, right, Capricorn? The 8 of Cups and the 8 of Pentacles. Ace of Swords at the bottom, all right? So this is about a newfound truth. There is a newfound truth, Capricorn, and it's interesting that I would turn the light on right at that moment because there's going to be a light that turns on for you with that Ace of Wands, with that Ace of Swords, with that Ace of Pentacles. You've had all the aces show up except for the ace of, oh, no, I think you had a brief indication of the ace of cups as well, didn't you? So all the aces have showed up in your reading. That tells me that there is definitely an opportunity to plant new seeds and new beginnings in March, specifically around the March 24th when there's an Aries new moon. But this is about your truth, Capricorn, specifically because we have the page of swords coming out. The page of swords is a truth seeker. A studier, you know, someone who is spying. There may be someone who's spying on you at the end of March, Capricorn, keeping an eye on you. Now, in this card, I'm going to pick it right back up and show you again. I want to want to show you guys how this person is writing. So I don't know if, if there's going to be anything that needs to be signed or written at the end of March. Like this may be, honestly, I'm getting divorce papers for some of you guys because it's like there was a decision that you weren't making the first couple of weeks. And you finally decide to sign something, sign off on something. But this is faded. Okay, someone here may even see that you're with someone else at the end of March. They may spy on you and see that everything is changing for you. That you're collaborating with soulmates and friends. And, you know, there's, there's just going to be a vibe at the end of March where you find out a lot more about why something happened. Someone here, it's like they're finding out more about their own destiny, their own fate and fortune. And there's going to be a turning point, maybe because you see something, Capricorn, maybe because you spy and find out a certain detail. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys enter April, coming coming out of the last few days of March, after everything changes, right? There's going to be this waiting period. There's going to be this reconciliation that you're wishing for. It's going to change everything. There's going to be communication that comes in at the very end of March that has something to do with this energy. Okay, we got the Ace of Swords and literally your card. Wow. So Capricorn's truth is so important this month with the Ace of Swords. Even if you feel like you've been left out in the cold, even if you have to choose um, uh, the path of poverty temporar temporarily, the path of homelessness, keep faith. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. Keep faith in reunion, this Four of Wands. Keep faith in the celebration because I feel you won't be homeless or poverty or broke for long because we have the four of wands and the ten of pentacles there's a beautiful home environment here there's a completion taking place you let me just show you this real quick capricorn you have completed this is the world and the ten of pentacles that is saturn energy i just want to say 
last minute here on your reading, when you get the world and the Ten of Pentacles, there's something that you've accomplished. You've ensured the next 10 years of your life, metaphorically. There's been a cycle that is completing. Okay, there's going to be a home environment that you're celebrating. Keep faith in this moment when you feel left out in the cold at the end of March, okay? Because your truth is what got you here. You are breaking free from toxic cycles of like infidelity, lies, deception, keeping yourself stuck in situations you're not happy in. And that is why you have led yourself to the truth. You are cutting off the devil, okay? Your shadow side. And what you're left with is a new mindset, okay? So I love that you're overcoming obstacles. You're getting offers that are very emotionally fulfilling. Those offers, though, are going to put you inside your head to make you choose one of these investments. You have several investments here, Capricorn, at least seven. Relationship investments, car investments, job investments. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to choose what you want to invest in moving forward now that there's been a karmic cycle completed for you over the last 10 years, moving on to the next 10 years. I see faded relationships here. If there's an offer that you've been wishing for to reconcile or to meet someone, they're faded. There is a faded relationship here, a soulmate that you have the same destiny with, the same fortune with, and that's ultimately what you're going to be finding out. And who knows what you're going to be discovering um, moving into April with this Page of Swords. But there's something that is said or articulated at the end of March that is very important, and you're going to speak your truth. I think this is you writing a letter and speaking your truth, Capricorn, after you've made up your damn mind. You know, it's going to be very hard for you guys to not choose this Ace of Pentacles opportunity because it's something you're wishing for, it's something fulfilling, and it's something you value, and it's something you need, whatever it might be. So thank you so much, Capricorn. This is what I have for you for, I almost said May, for March. If you resonated with this and you'd like a personal reading, check my description box for my email, and we can talk more about how to set that up. Other than that, I hope you guys had a great March, a happy spring equinox, and a happy St. Patrick's Day this month, you guys, the portal of luck. And I will catch you guys on the flip side of April.